Now let's uh, set up and render the shot using the Solaris context in Houdini. So go to the Solaris desktop, which points at a place called uh, the stage, slash stage. So everything we created so far has disappeared, and we're going to start from scratch setting up for lighting and rendering. So we're going to put a reference node down, and that reference node will allow us to, uh, if we click on File Pattern, we can go to slash USD and bring in the wine glass and press accept to bring that in or double click and there we go we brought it in and uh, if we go and scrub through there it's got the animation that we uh, in the that we set up in the file now every object that we want to bring in that we created for this uh, thing needs to be brought in with a separate reference node um, and and, and they'll all work together uh, using the timeline. Now the primitive path, what we're going to do is where does this go inside um, Solaris? You have what's called the scene graph and you can decide where that goes. So we're going to go put a primitive path of slash geo slash OS. So slash geo, uh, sorry, spell that right, uh, is the is where we set up and there's reference one reference one being the name of the file slash os is the name of the node so if we change that to wine glass then that becomes geo wine glass and that's going in the scene graph and everything you bring into solaris gets converted into what's called usd the universal scene description file format uh, and the scene graph lets you see what that what that entails so the wine surface we're going to replace that and we're just going to call this wine and because we've alt dragged that over to make a copy, um, the slash geo slash OS is all set up and um, everything we bring in will come in the way we need. So we can do that with the bullet. Now, what's different on the stage versus, let's say, the object level is you can't display three different things at once. You have to actually merge them. Now, first, what I'm going to do is fix here and make sure that the references are dollar hip. Um, that way, if this project ever gets picked up and shared with somebody, um, you've got relative references instead of absolute references. So dollar hip should be in front of all of those. Sorry, I didn't. I hadn't set that up. So that put the merge down, and uh, now we can merge those three together. Set the display flag, and now we go forward in time. The bullet moves. The liquid's there. The, the glass is there. Everything's working together. And you can see them all here in the scene graph in the in the appropriate place. So the next thing we we want to do is add um, a backdrop. So we're just going to put a grid down. We're going to call that backdrop, and feed that into the same merge node, and that will allow us to get an extra piece of geometry. Now, because it's selected, the the scene graph only shows us. Um, that particular piece right now, um, but we can go in and slash geo slash os, and it becomes part of that collection there. If we double click into the into there, what you can do is we can set this up to be a better backdrop, make it a little bigger, uh, have it bend a little bit. So we're going to go 200 by 200 uh, for the size of the grid. Uh, we're going to add more rows and columns, so 20 by 20. And then we can right click on here, type bend, and add a node for bending that. So to get that to bend, we can simply use the a bend of, let's say, 75. Now it's not going in the right direction for us right now, but we can fix that. And what we'll do is go way down here to the capture origin. We're going to go negative 40. And then capture direction is negative one zero zero, so that's a little more in line with what we want to do. And the capture length we can make that a little bit softer by making that bigger. Once we have that, we can do the um, subdivide node to just add a little more detail to it. And there we go, we've got our server. If we go back up to the stage, uh, we can see that's there. And as we tumble around, you'll see how it works in relation. Well, there it is behind the wine glass. 
So if we move the wine glass sort of like this, we can see the bullet, we see the backdrop, we get what we want uh, there. Uh, we can tumble that around. Then we can add a camera in, which locks down the view of that. Um, although we can, with the little lock icon there, we can actually make changes to that. Now we don't want to see the any empty space there, so we're going to just move that over, do a quick test, bring that in. Yes, we're getting a nice explosion filling up the frame, so that's a good position for it uh, compositionally. Let me just zoom out a little bit or down a little bit. And there we go. So we've got a camera, and the camera is part of the, the USD scene file as well and it will be used to light and render this as a shot. And add an environment light in. Uh, we can now go in, get an HDRI image, and the HDRI image, um, it's, like, it's like a garage. Um, and we can go to high quality sort of display here to get a sense of how that's affecting things. Or we can go up here and say, let's just do a karma render. So it's going to go in and it's going to light that using the HDRI image as the main lighting for this. And it'll do the job for this particular shot, so we're in good shape there. Um, the two surf main surfaces, the wine and the glass, are going to be transparent anyway, so they're not going to... Um, they're going to work a little bit differently. Now, through the viewport, uh, we're rendering with Karma. Karma is a hydrodelicate, which means it's designed to render USD, uh, and it is the render that is used by Solaris.